evening with so much negativity around I thought I'd come and film some plants it seems quite a, a pleasant thing to do in the fresh air um, I think these are chrysanthemums just mention it in the comments if I'm wrong I probably am I know who will know they look cool though don't they um, yeah. and you've got the border here it's absolutely gorgeous look at that Just so I'm trying to pan slower. I think my eyes are blurred or the camera's blurred, I'm not quite sure which. It's really the best time to be in a garden like this when the whole world's going absolutely bonkers about things only certain people can actually control. And I've realised you can retweet stuff and post this and post that. At the end of the day, it's not going to make a difference. The powers that be seem hell bent on the nation being like something or other. So, what can we do? Go into the garden. And look at some lovely plants and lovely bees. You see the bees? Yeah, there's no bees this year. Well, one, one, two, can't keep going. Three, one there. Look. Hello, Mr. Bee, how are you doing? You're very busy, aren't you? Actually, I was in a traffic jam before and I said hello to a cow and it looked round at me and gave me a nod. It was like, yeah, I know what you're doing. Hello, bumblebees. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, just caught one there, look. Look at that. The bees aren't writing, are they? Am I allowed to say that word? Anyway, I'm not going to get political on this channel, so... We shall ignore the chaos going on outside. Look at that beautiful bee. Watch it as I knack up my focus and bloody get stung. No, oh, no, it nearly landed on my finger. I don't want the poor bumblebee to die. You die after one sting, don't they? Yeah. I just hope it's not too cold for them. But they seem pretty lively, don't they? We absolutely love this plant, whatever it is. It's the white plant. And there you go, them beautiful roses. That's like my favourite rose bush in the world ever. It's like something on the front of a chocolate box, isn't it? Eh? Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Can't drag myself away from them bees, not the three of them there. Hello. Can't if you see a butterfly. I actually saw a plum moth. A plum moth. A P L U M B M O T H. Yeah, a plum moth here a few years ago. And it looks like a little angel. Look at them blushing looses are called. Which is a variety of rows. I think they're called blushy looses anyway. Aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. They're like petite heads. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really enjoying this. I'm glad I, I'm glad I came down. I'm about to sit on that bench soon. There you go. And I know this one as well. This is called Monk's Hood. The sap is... Um, isn't very good if you ingest it. Oh, Mr. B likes this too. More bees. We like bees. 
Um, I'll just walk up this border maybe. It's so peaceful here. It could be a million miles away from trouble. <sighs> Your blood pressure just drops instantly when you come. Hmm. They're lying down on the job then, aren't they? I think they're supposed to, but... Look at that, isn't it stunning? How vivid that pink is. I'm sorry, but nature's absolutely epic. I don't care what anyone says. Nature is epic. I love nature. I love cars. I love nature and conservation as well. You wouldn't have thought the two went hand in hand. But we do. I love conserving nature and I love conserving cars. One day cars will be like the archaeology of the future. I'm not sure how steel last, long steel lasts if kept like bone dry. Yeah. I'll have to have a research of that one. But it's um it's just nice to get out, you know. I mean Facebook and Instagram and stuff have been pretty pretty good recently but um oh yeah. yeah facebook and instagram have been pretty good recently it's not much on there oh you won't think anything's going on at all in in the world um but uh twitter Twitter's a different matter altogether. Oh my goodness. I mean, the car community's virtually disappeared overnight. Um, and we're probably all guilty for posting a few things we maybe shouldn't have done. But, uh, not really sure I admit it at the moment, of course, with a uh, mind few of the in uh, in charge. But I wasn't going to get political, was I? Right, I'll come. Aren't they gorgeous? One thing we'll say, guys, is if I ever have any opinions on here, they are my opinions. No one else's, no one who I work for, nothing but my opinions. And in my opinion, that rose is gorgeous. And what a colour! Isn't it? Can I do that? Yeah, I can. Absolutely fabulous. Sweet peas. Aren't they? Um, more sweet peas. I won't smell them because I'm like allergic to flowers and I'll probably vomit all night. So, but I'm alright at a safe distance. And we've got, oh yeah, look at that. I'm amazed I haven't put my thumb over the camera yet. This is what people are missing in their lives. I mean, anyone can go and sit in a park or something. I mean, like Blackpool's got Stanley Park, which is lovely. But I did notice a real massive lack of insects there. I think they've got a lot of birds. But we did have two terrapins as well, which I thought was epic. I'm getting that damned arm make again. I blame YouTube. YouTube arm make. That's what it is, isn't it? YouTube I make. Yeah. Hmm, I can't get through here because there's an apple in the way. It's really low hanging apples. Oh dear. So another thing about um getting back to the 
with a recent disorder was um no, it's a lot of people making reference to people with missing teeth. I mean, oh, actually, we're going to break for a minute because look at this. The artichoke has flowered. I don't think that's early. I'm not sure. Be usually out till September time, I think. But isn't that absolutely fabulous? Look how long they are. It's absolutely amazing. How good is my camera? A bit trippy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, back to the teeth thing. Dentistry in this country is absolutely knackered unless you like earn a lot of money. I've got two teeth missing here, I won't show you. One of them I lost eating a nacho in Edinburgh in like 2015. And the other one, um I was decorating I was decorating my um well painting a bedroom floor in a bungalow in like a log cabin I used to live in uh, up near Windermere and uh, as I was painting it, I needed to move the bed over. And so, as I went to move the bed over, it moved suddenly, and my head came down, and basically I, I face-planted an Audrey Hepburn suitcase, which was made out of wood, and really, really rather hard, and I snapped, smashed my other tooth. So I've got two teeth missing here. Through really no fault of my own apart from stupidity. Um, I'm looking at the wrong side again. But can we just stop this crap about people with missing teeth? I mean, just to add to the st st stereotype, I am a valitor as well. So I'm a valitor with two missing teeth at the front. And I have awful hang ups, hang -ups about it, you know. Awful. I don't smile anymore. See, if I had a massive pair of boobs, well, I've got a pair of moves, but, you know, a massive pair of boobs, I could get reduction. I'm pretty sure I could get reduction on the NHS for for free. But, you know, with the teeth being such a, a cosmetic feature, I've basically lost my smile. So people think I'm miserable, but I'm not. I'm smiling on the inside. But as soon as you open your... As soon as you open your mouth, they think you're uh, some fascist, f some fascist valitor, scum of the earth, you know, and it's not, it's not the case. People lose teeth in car crashes. You can't just go and get two more, you know, I, I don't know how you do that. But, you know, if, if someone wants to really pee me off, we can just point out the fact I've got two teeth missing at the front. Both through accidents, not through rot. I used to drink about 10 gallons of milk a day until I got allergic to that. So, you know, it's a special skill. With it. I'm incredibly good at talking to myself. Even better talking to myself in a garden. I quite enjoyed it. But, two teeth missing. Oh, what a savage. It must be so common. No, not at all. I hate word common. You know what? People, people are really, really struggling in some parts of the country. You know, we, it's just not good. I, I was in Morecambe the other day. We're in Morrison's in Morecambe, and um, getting some little bits of shopping, some lunch and stuff to eat on a promenade which is a really nice thing to do it doesn't cost a lot and then we went to a cinema so we went pink flowers but when we were in there there was these two lads and the, the security guard had kind of he hadn't I'll be careful he hadn't grabbed them he'd stopped them so he never touched them anything but he stopped them and said what have you got there or something and the lad started to 
chocolate bars and oak bars and stuff out of his pants and he was dressed literally in rags I mean it was like it was like tracksuit bottom stuff but he looked like being dragged through a hedge backwards multiple times and that's not that kid's fault it, it could have only been seven or eight and there was two of them this is in the same town and there's, you know, I'm not blaming anyone. It's, you know, you can be a multi-millionaire anywhere. You don't necessarily know, but this is in the same town where there's quite a few multi-millionaires now, and yet you've got seven-year-olds nicking bloody food for survival. I think I'm not being naive. I can tell what's survival and what's stolen, stealing to order. I'm sorry, two seven-year-olds in a supermarket on their own, dressed in something paramount to an Oliver Twist film. It's not good. I couldn't be a Prime Minister of a country that treats its people like this. It's bloody awful. You know? It really annoys me. Another thing, you know, years ago, I left my full-time job of 25 years and the lad I know one one tooth tooth missing then but yeah I left my job 25 years and about oh, a year later I think it was a year later I actually got um, pneumonia and I was I was I didn't earn any money for like four or five weeks and I, I was solely self-employed at the time with no benefits or anything and I got down to my last seven pounds 63 and I had to use that £7.63 because I remember the exact figure. I had to use it for like two or three days. And I made it last two or three days. And then this woman from Eon or someone had the gall to call me up and ask me if I wanted financial help, like help with financial management. So I explained to her I just last made like seven quid last a few days. She's like, oh, well, that's not financial management, is it? And I thought, no, it's survival. You stupid witch. You know what I mean? There's a lot of pent-up anger in Britain. Um, and, and rightly so at the moment. It, like On one side you've got people like the woke virus. <laughs> who despise anyone who isn't from an ethnic minority. You know? And, and you, you've, you've got hundreds of thousands, millions of really decent people. Decent British people, you know. You've got Hindu, Sikhs, um, Jewish people, Christians, atheists, Muslims. The majority of most of them are decent people, you know. And I don't know what's going on. It's almost like it's all fit up somehow. But whatever it is, I came to the garden to calm down. So I better carry on calming down. And I'm just pacing up and down like a moron now. I don't know what my point is really. Just like look after someone, you know, look after your neighbour. Doesn't matter where they're from or what we're doing, just look after them. There is a massive problem. And a massive opinion from all, all 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 kinds of people that certain people are coming here illegally. And I'd say, I'd definitely say look after the people who are here first. Look after that seven year old lad who's having to steal bloody oak bars from Morrison's. You know? And I'm not I'm presuming the security guard probably bought him bought him them. You know, I mean, I I was thinking about going over and just saying, you know, come to a self-help till and let's get you a sandwich and stuff. But you just dare not nowadays, do you? I mean, there is food banks in Morecambe at the end of the day. But his little legs probably won't get that far, will they? I think it's over by White Lund somewhere. Not near the prom and not where we probably go begging or hand out or whatever. So, anyway... I probably said more than I should, but you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> what are you doing? is filling a bit of time at night. 
Them daisies are gorgeous, aren't they? So, to take something away from this, don't slag off people for having you know, no teeth, or large boobs, or small boobs, or a big bum, or a little bum. Don't, when you meet someone, don't turn around to them and say, oh, you put a bit of weight on. Or don't say to them, oh, have you lost a bit of weight? Yeah, I've got cancer, actually, you know. Just think about what you do. I don't think I've ever approached someone and said, looks like you've put on a bit of weight. Are you pregnant? Are you ill? Oh, you're looking... Just shut it. Just ask people. Just walk up to them and say, are you happy? Are you having a good day? And if you say no, say, you know, why not? Why aren't you having a good day? And try and help. It's not difficult, is it? But oh, honestly, it really bloody gets me. Yeah, I'm managed to rant in the garden in front of a beautiful plant, which is gorgeous. But, you know, I've been idiots in Westminster every time. What a clue. What a clue what's going on. I mean, Clarkson nailed it the other day, saying about when he lived in London, it was just like a big bubble. So, you know, a clue what's going on. Just another multimillionaire spouting a load of rubbish. Hopefully, you know, you never know. I might be a multi-millionaire one day. But I probably wouldn't be. You know why? Because I don't want to be. You know, there's generous people out there. Don't knock them. I've got to really... Um, Pull up our pants in this country, I tell you, and look after each other. And stop bloody slanging people off because they look different. And stop slanging people, I mean, you know, people who speak to me online sometimes. Someone called me trash the other day. You know, I'm a guy. You shouldn't take it personally, should you? I'm a guy, you know, wife ran off with a chef. I've lost one, one daughter to a, a terminal illness. And sometimes you just want to be given a fucking break, you know what I mean? And these people are relentless online. They don't know you. They don't have a clue who you are. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know how big you are, you know? I'm not big. But I'm bloody strong. You know? But I, I don't... I, I would never use it. I should have been a boxer, really, but... Probably too unfit now. <laughs> he says after six hours of valeting, up and down, round, and round. I mean, you spend most of the day doing squats. I've got calf muscles like bloody girders. Well, until one tour last year, did some damn Soviet motorcycle. I was lifting out of a van. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll. A bit long for a film now, with rants, isn't it? But if you take something away from this, right, go to a nice garden, look at all the plants and the wildlife. I mean, wildlife doesn't even get on, does it? I mean, pheasants don't get on, rabbits don't seem to get on, nothing gets on, dogs don't get on, cats really don't get on. And we're all territorial, aren't we? It's just human nature. I think mean, it's human nature to be racist as well. Just let people say what they want. You got it off a chest. And that's it. You know? You can say what you want when you want. Um oh, there's little flowers on there, they're gorgeous. Yeah, say what you went say what you want when you want. Get it off your chest. Don't disrespect people. Don't disrespect people's beliefs or faith. In though it might be a bit far out. You know, just um, just enjoy your life. I think I'm going to have a sabbatical off Twitter for a while now because I've been retweeting some really stupid things, to be honest. But I don't believe him. But the trouble is... I believe you should retweet both sides of the argument. That's the way I've kind of always used Twitter. 
but then both sides get really riled and then you probably end up getting arrested you know every day out on the roads it's like carnage road rage and morons but my car's like a little haven of peace my little panda haven of peace like my chin <laughs> yeah a good haven of peace I don't know what else to say really, I've probably bored you all to death now. Um, yeah, just stop knocking people for their looks. It's just not funny anymore. It's just not. I might walk around going, mm -hmm. Let me sing. He must be a ragger. He must like drink Stella, 10 cans of Stella a day. Well, stereotyping people, yeah, it can be funny sometimes. As long as it's obviously a joke. Or can it be? I don't know. But, um... Stop being dickheads. Is the answer. Right, I'm going to sit on this bench. Because I'm tired. No, I'm not really. Yeah, I've been working since, like, 8 o'clock or something. Well, set off at 8. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to look at them beautiful roses. Well, they're beautiful, but I tell you what, if you run over there in a bout of enthusiasm and try to rip one off, you will end up with lots of blood coming off your hands because they've got thorns. See, another that's another thing, actually. I'm just going to get it on it. See... I think till about seven or eight, I couldn't actually talk properly. I spoke some like weird language, only my brother could understand or decipher. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the only one, am I? Ooh, I can discover the crack in the wall thing. I'm not the only one. Um, he's had a speech, in, but it wasn't even a speech impediment. It's just like an alien language, to be fair. And I know it's supposed to be a sign of autism, but I don't think I'm autistic. I can spend like hours talking to myself in the garden and I can also spend hours polishing like one nuthead because I'm a detailer and and that's what I do and I do it best and unfortunately most days I just have to do general valeting but my specialist subject is highly detailed work which I'm pretty renowned for now I think um but yeah, back to my speech thing. So, it was bad enough anyway. I couldn't pronounce th. So I say, one, two, three. One, two, three. So obviously, I'm obviously a fucking complete imbecile, aren't I? According to some people. Um, but I'm not. I don't think I am anyway. Th think, you see. I can do think. But the trouble is, because I've got two teeth missing out, it ends up like... <laughs> do I care? Do I hell? Other people care, you know. People point it out. Oh, you said three. Is it three or three? Three. I have to make a concerted effort to say three. So I say three, because I don't care. You know, I care about some things, but not others. I can't even see what oh yeah, 20, 28 minutes video Ooh. Google's gonna love me yeah so um so let's stop dissing people eh? if some can't talk properly also, just help them or just understand where they've been in life or you know don't prejudge people all of a sudden time I think if I can leave something on this earth it, it's that just do not I'm saying do not do things now you should be able to do what you want but just be kind to people it's not difficult and I guess about four people will watch this so most of them are probably people I know who are absolutely lovely anyway but I have a small circle of friends in fact it's minuscule <laughs> for a reason because over the years I got sick of disappointment I got sick of people bringing the stupid mates along who are dickheads and I suppose I'm a bit of a 
bit of an introvert in a way. But an extrovert in others, is that possible? I don't know. Just human. It's, it's not a bad sky, is it? Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Anyway, for the next exciting instalment, I'm not sure what it will be. I, I wouldn't mind going to Harewood Hill Climb one day. I'm not sure it's on for a couple of weeks. There's a car show on in Grange over Sands, I think. If Britain still exists, obviously. Um, it's not about cars, anyway. It's about all sorts. I mean, I've got to document, like, half my life yet. So, um, which I will be doing very soon. But I think half an hour is enough for tonight. So I bid you all a good sleep and a good night. Smiling on the inside. With my two front teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good night, folks. Mwah.